First ever Springer, thanks to the Addicted crew. Tastes like a thousand dollars. Fish on. Fish on. And now get real tall, ready? Go. Now. Get it, yeah. Got it. Got a blowout on the front end of their truck and went over an embankment. It's, I mean, it's, everything's just kind of in a pile. They just towed what they could back to Burton's. That's Burton's. the junkyard, okay. Hey, what's up everyone out there? Before we get this video kicked off, I wanted to get on here and just say thank you so much for the support. It's absolutely insane. We are actually having a warehouse celebration sale because we were able to move into a new warehouse because of all your guys' support. It's crazy to think that almost two years ago, we were literally just in like a 350 square foot office space and now we're in a 1600 square foot warehouse selling all sorts of products and merch. And so right now on the website to celebrate the new space, it's 30% off all of our hats, all of our jackets, sweatshirts, basically anything that's an apparel item is 30% off. Plus, we're giving a free pack of Addicted Steelhead Worms with every single order on the website to celebrate the new warehouse. And again, I can't say enough to thank all you addicts out there. It's just crazy that we're on this journey with you and we really, really appreciate the support. Now let's kick off this video with Landshark Outdoors. He came out here and fished with us. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Here we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Addicted Fishing video. Today is a very special one and it's a big adventure. We have two guests that we've been waiting a long time to fish with. We have Victor from Land Shark and we have Brooke from Brooke Christ Outdoors. And these guys flew all the way across the country again to fish for bucket list fish that they've been wanting to fish for their whole life. And so day number one, we wake up in the morning and I noticed that it wasn't really raining all night. And I look out my window and what do you know? Covered in snow. What did you guys think when you saw that? I looked out the window and I saw all the snow and I've never seen fresh snow like that before and I ran into the room and I took a video of it and I showed Victor and I was like, there's snow out there. There's really snow. So needless to say, everybody knows me, I wasn't in any hurry to leave the house. So we ate some breakfast, geared up and went out to chase one of the very hardest fish to catch in the Northwest in the snow of all things. So we're, we're baiting up our, our hooks here. We've baited a three foot leader. So we're gonna get them to the bottom, hit bottom, reel up a crank or two and just hold it. Okay. We're bobber fishing, but you're the bobber. Two or three cranks up and just hold it. And that bite's gonna be fairly aggressive. Okay. You're gonna feel it's gonna start a little trouty and then it's gonna get heavy, then it's gonna get heavy, then it's gonna get heavy and then you just lay in. Them. So we fish with cut bait all the time back home, but to fish with eggs, you guys cure these so they stay on the hook. It's just wild. And I saw that Jordan threaded it onto the hook. so. Very different technique than what we're used to at home, but still kind of the same. No matter where you go in the world, you got kind of like the same principles. We kind of call this like a chicken rig, weight on the bottom, bait on top. Different fish, kind of the same techniques, just different baits. There's a fish on bottom. Oh, oh my god, I got one. I got one. Got him. I got him. Yes. Yes. We put different leads on to get us a little bit closer to the bottom. And it worked. It worked. It worked. Thank goodness. That's a big fish too, you guys. That's a big fish. Oh, oh god. Man, he ate that good. And I just seen one on the depth finder. I looked down. I saw him sitting there. And sure enough, go ahead and bring that in. I'm going to move this over here. Live action. Live action. He's going back to the bottom. He's submarining me. He's submarining. They fight a lot more than I thought they would. Oh God, these things are some of the strongest, especially because this fish could have sea lice on it. So this fish might have only been in this river for less than 12 hours. It came straight from the ocean over 100 miles and into this river. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> We're eating, baby! Nice, Jordan! Oh yeah, baby. That's oh, a, a shiner. Have a little taste. That's a shiny king right there. We're eating a hundred dollar meal tonight. <laughs> First fish of the trip. I think it's got a shark fin on it. Wow. Special what? moment. Hell yeah. Little, little <laughs> knows what he's gonna get. Oh, little loves the Springer. Ooh, he loves it. Who yeah. needs to start early? Not I, says the man with the Springer. <laughs> 
So honestly, I was about as shocked as you guys were to get that fish so fast. We dropped down, first bait, first pass, and bam, we have one of the tastiest fish in the entire world on our line. There's rocks on the bottom of the river, right? Mm -hmm. So you kind of like feeling your lead hitting it and it almost felt like a thump, but I felt like a distinct like boom. It's probably a fish. Damn it. Yeah. Look at this, Brooke. So I told you guys I thought I had a thump. Look at that. that was I got a good stolen. Thump. He just robbed the whole thing. That's why he never came back for it. He got a free lunch. So as the day wore on, I think we all kind of lost steam. We were cold that it was snowing still, and we really wanted to get this fish in our belly, so we loaded up the boat and we headed to the beach. Now this is what we call a fishy situation, everybody. We hit the beach, we're done fishing for the day, we're about to head down to the coast to meet up with Pop Off, Cam, Big Dave, and Marlin, but before that, we gotta eat some of the Springer, so we made it out to the beach, we're gonna enjoy a little bit of sunset, cook the salmon, we're gonna do two different recipes here, and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful spring Chinook right here on the beach. Can't believe you cracked it open without us. Didn't even cheers us. <laughs> what a host, what a host. <laughs> cheers, brother. Welcome to Washington, we're not nice. <laughs> it's not like Victor got me one either. Oh though. wow, we're all jerks here. <laughs> all right, cheers guys. Brood for fishermen, you see that? Right there, brood for fishermen, everyone. Here we go. All right, cheers, cheers. guys. We're all fishermen. <laughs> I'm like, I just want to, ah, ah. It's, it's a real treat, like, the one thing Florida's slacking in is salmon, man. We don't have any, <laughs> I'm telling you, we don't have any good fatty fish. This, you guys are really spoiled with this. This is like the creme de la creme of fish right here. It really is. It's got fat content, it's just delicious. Even the coloring, I mean, it's just such a unique, looking thing and uh we really appreciate you guys taking us out seriously it's the fun part of it too with a fish like this that you can go out and literally hook one fish in the day and be so excited yeah. and every springer fisherman out there knows that you go out and if you have the chance to take one home to your family or your friends it's a it's an ordeal like it, it creates a party you get a springer you invite friends over you cook the whole thing and you enjoy it to the fullest which is very rare for a fish normally people just like to cook it and eat it but here it's a party we also got this to make it a party <laughs> that's the fisherman's beer Here we go. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's going down. That's the thing of beauty, everybody. Way to go, team. We did it. Oh, we did it today. We got a thousand dollar meal right here on the Literally. beach. Literally. Okay. You ready? Yep. For that first bite. Going for that thick shoulder piece. Oh my god, look at the juice. Dipping in a little bit of that juice. First ever Springer, thanks to the Addicted crew. Tastes like a thousand dollars. I'll tell you that. It's so incredibly tender. Wow. The, the fat content, the richness of it, the flavor. It's just good. Fish. Literally, that's, that's it. A little bit of garlic, tiny bit of cheese, a little bit of pepper. That's it. It's incredible. All that flavor comes from that fish. And it was swimming, what, six, seven hours ago? Yep. That, that definitely helps. Make wow. Your next, make your next bite right there. That that's belly. really good. That belly piece is where it's at. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Isn't it insane? Wow. <laughs> They're both really, uh, put really a good. Smile on your face but for the sure. pesto one blows this one out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we didn't use butter. He said it tastes like butter, but we didn't use butter. So you gotta imagine that the mayo with the pesto adds just like a little more kick to it, but mm. they are both absolutely delicious. Wow. So I have to know you guys. We all rant and rave and freak out about these spring chinook, 
what did you actually think of it? Being from Florida, we never get to have fresh salmon. So when you were like, dude, this is the top of the line salmon, it did not disappoint. We made it two ways and it was just, it's everything I expected. I feel like there's two types of people, the people who like salmon and the people who don't like salmon. And I used to be one of those people that didn't like salmon, but I think it's really important to have fresh salmon. And I absolutely love this salmon because it was fresh. So I feel like people who probably haven't had salmon like that don't know how great it can be. So I feel like if everyone tried that, they'd be more on the side of the people who like right, salmon. Right, right. Well, way to go us. We got to eat the most expensive salmon in the world and the day was over. Cheers. Here's to your first trip out west. Thank you. And the next thing on the docket was packing our bags and heading for the coast. Oh, toe warmers. Addicts, if you don't have these in your box or in when you're out fishing in wintertime, you're missing the boat just like I did my entire life. I'm taking no chances because yesterday my toes were freezing. Definitely happy about these bad boys. You want to see the perfect form? Bam. It's almost corny to use the word magical. But the second we walked down that trail and saw the water in the backyard, it was it was pretty magical. The water was crystal clear, pushing the boats down that trail. I've never seen anything like that. I've never even been to Oregon before, so just seeing that and the river, it was a pretty epic experience. Nine point five, nine point six, nine point five, ten, nine point five. So, first hole underway, right in Dave's backyard. We start rowing the boats out, and of course we wanted these guys to catch the fish first. They get the boat down in front of us, and I'm watching this scene unfold. Reel, 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 reel. Oh God, let it go again, let it go again. And Victor's in the front of the boat, letting his bobber go down river, and what happened next? Bobber down, baby, bobber down. Good job, good job, There was a really technical aspect to this fishery. I get tight with this steelhead and then it jumps and then it jumps again. And I never really realized like how acrobatic and I, I really did not know anything about a steelhead before this trip. But yep. You, you want go. me to lift no, all the way up? I want you to go this way, lower it, lower it. Okay, okay now just this right now. Go. Go, go, go. I got him! I got him! I got him! Yeah, it's a clipper, guys. Yeah. It's a keeper. Heck yeah. It's all twisted up, but I'll get him out of the net here. Oh, little buckaroo. Yeah, this will be great. I'm going to ask for a better one to eat. Safe to say that after this trip, I'm pretty hooked. Cool looking fish, hard fighting, acrobatic, and just beautiful. Well, that didn't take long. Even though we fished a couple of those upper holes, the second Dave could get him down here on these rocks, they're obviously laying right there. I think it was his first or second cast through there. First steelhead. Yeah. We still got one more for for her to get. And then it's fair game and we just fire in and catch as many as we can. <laughs> Open season. <laughs> I knew it. I told you she missed one. <laughs> I feel bad because this was Brooks fish, but they forgot a bunch of camera equipment up at the house, so. Let's see what I got here, guys. Oh, there she goes. There it goes. Feels like a good fish. It actually does feel like a good fish. And my drag is pretty crank. Like I said, it's a good time to take a break. Got Victor's first one. We figure we're gonna sit here and dink around. Oh, dude. Look at that fish. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, there she goes. Oh, now she... Hey! We're gonna talk about this, though. We're gonna talk about this. Look at that. Oh, it's a nice one. Been a while. Oh my god. Nice man. Off the bed. Little chill. I got her just a little hand land on this beautiful hatchery hen. But you guys can see right here, she'd already spawned and honestly, day's young. We want to get Victor and we gotta get Brooke her. Oh I lost him! I lost her! Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Well, we weren't gonna kill her anyways. I would have drug her up on the bank, but 
We gotta get Brooke her first steal and let her bump yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll let her go, then one of you addicts can catch her next time. Oh, 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 Beautiful steelhead number two. So you said this is a, a this is a hatchery fish. fish. As you can see, it's missing the adipose fin here. It's got the, the deformed like dorsal fin. This fish spawned already and is headed back out to the ocean to to kind of go do its thing again. Right through the peak and on the way she goes. Very nice. Good job, buddy. Thank you. That was awesome. This is crazy. This is just ridiculous. So when Marlon texted me about this trip, that was weeks ago. We had no idea what the weather was gonna be like. And then I sent Marlon a screenshot. I was like, dude, snow and rain, 100% chance all week long. And I'm not gonna lie. I was like on the verge of being like, we're gonna have to reschedule this. He's like, no dude, just send it, get over here. Definitely, I think this trip led me to push out of my comfort zone. And I think it'll definitely carry over from trip to trip now. Yeah. There's a sheet of it coming. What the hell is this? What'd you do, land shark? What did you do, We land brought shark? the Florida weather. We brought the Florida hail. Have you, have you ever seen this there? No. I've actually never been in a hailstorm before. Look at this. It was funny earlier, but it's not so funny anymore. Those are like 10 mils. Those are like 10 mils. We got our ice beads here. Oh, here we go, Brock. Here we go, Brock. Come, babe. Oh, God. Come on. Three, two, one. 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 Quarter. Eighth. Sixteenth. All day long, I felt like I was following directions pretty well. Dave and Nick would be like, cast here, cast there. And I'd be casting, and they'd be like, perfect. This is it. This is it. This is it. That's as good as a drift as you're ever going to get. My bobber would pass through that hole, nothing. She's got one, she's got one, she's got one. Yes! Yes! Oh! No, it's still there, it's still on. No. Oh no. Dang, it popped. Had the double. Damn it. Oh, they were doubled. Real hard. Another one. Thank you, babe. You got hit too on that drift too. No, this dev, that's a That's a dandy. stud. Yeah, look at that. What do you think? That that's, fish is probably like 12, 13 yeah, 12, pounds. 12, 13 pounds and it's, Gorgeous. she's a little skinny. I think she spawned out too, honestly. Gorgeous fish right there, guys. Gorgeous. Time to let this beautiful wild steelhead go. Just take one last second. Appreciate all those colors in that fish. Thank you for a great fight, buddy. Go. Just like that. And then finally we got to this one hole. We anchored up on the on the shore and everyone was like, all right, come on, Brooke. No one else was fishing. It was just me. And everyone was just waiting for me to finally catch my first fish. Go right in there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Open, 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 open. 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 <laughs> oh my God, These Brooke! Don't are worry. No stress. Terrible on that. right now. We're terrible. Ah, We're terrible. Ah, We're terrible. These fish are terrible. Bobber goes down. I missed the fish. I think it probably happened twice. Bobber went down. Everyone's screaming. Real, 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 real. Nothing. Dang it! <laughs> Again. Again. Oh, Brooke, I'm sorry. Brooke, it's not your fault. Hold on that Right in the meat hole. Brooke, 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 Brooke. Oh, babe. Real, 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 real. Get him! 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 And then finally, Bobber goes down. I got that fish on. Oh God, it's a tanker. It's a tanker. It's a tanker. That's a real good one. Push it right up river. Stay right there. 
Stay right there. Now, lift hard. Lift, 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 lift. Oh, lift, 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 lift. Yeah. Okay, back out and around. Back, back out and around. Go, Do it now. Go, hard, Do it now. Hard, hard. Oh. Back out and around, back out and around. He's got a mind of its own. Back out and around. Oh God, Nick, you want the net? Oh God, push your rod down low. <laughs> and now get real tall, ready? Go. Now. Get a You might be able to even hear it in my voice, but I was starting to get like really emotional about that because I worked my butt off to finally catch that fish, so it really meant a lot. Yeah. It only took me Coming hundreds home. of pounds. Coming home, Coming baby. Home, Coming home, home, baby. Yeah. 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 Yes, that is what I'm talking about. Look at how fast this oh, thing is. That is a tank to tank. It was pretty cool to have everyone screaming at me and supporting me, so yep. it was a pretty special and moment. And it just so happened, world, that it was the nicest fish of the day. <laughs> Rightfully so. All right, guys, Brooke, after I don't know how many casts and how many, I mean, I'm not kidding. She can cast and she's putting it in the right spots. And we got into this hole and got a few opportunities. She, I think you lost two and missed a couple. And finally, we got that one to stick in the middle of the hole. And this is what she came out with. Just an absolute perfect specimen. Nice buck, amazing fish to eat. Um, great job. Thank you. You excited? I'm very excited. And it was crazy because I was surprised, honestly, that they had me casting in the same spot so many times after not seeing anything happen. And then finally, I did lose one, so I was like, okay, I get it, there are fish here. Yep, sometimes and then just, finally got sometimes, one. Yeah, yeah, it's a great fish, too. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Heck yeah, proud of you. That's pretty cool. So Brooke finally gets her first fish, and then what do you know, in goes five bobbers. Fish. It's it's huge. Fish. Get it down, get it down. Is it really big? The whole main line. Huge. The whole main line. What? Wow. The main line wow. goes, dude. Live action. Live action. That's another really nice one. Oh! Double! Double! Oh, oh we're, we're going for a break. Double! 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 So this fish slammed this thing, did that crazy run, went up, did all these barrel rolls into the line, and that hook actually came out of his mouth, and as it unraveled, it hooked him right in the sock. So we're gonna do our best to just net this thing and let it go, because you can't keep these fish when they're snagged. So still exciting, still fun. My first fish of the day. Unfortunately, a little bit of bad luck. We're not gonna be able to keep this one. Okay, we're good. Came, on came off. That was a really nice fish. You think over 15? Yeah, it's probably 12. Probably right about the same size as Brooks. Well, that was fun. High five, everybody. Ew! Oh. That's a big one. I waited all day, everybody, for the best hole of the day. I'm glad I did. I got my rest because I needed it. Wild. Oh, what a beauty. Perfect little steely. So this fish is actually already spawned. She's heading back out to the ocean, so let's get her on hooks and get her on her way. Hi, honey. Yeah, I got one today, everyone. High fives all around. Oh, we got him, we got him. We got to get him closer to us, though. Just keep that tip buried, push him up river. Ready? Oh, that's a fish! That's a fish! I think the other one was too. I saw a flash. Even tight line, even tight line. Keep your rod up. Go for it right now. Up and over, right now. Do it again. Push down. Okay, now real right now. Real, real tall. Real tall. Oh, God. Bring it back and do it again. Okay, now. Big, big lift high. Gotcha. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he was in and out. out. Yeah. In and out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Do it again now. 
Oh my gosh, this fish is smart. Got it. Got it. Look how pretty this one is. There you go. It's a hatchery fish. Just looked like she was just starting to, just she's just dropping her eggs out there. So probably let that one go maybe, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Cool, all right. Woo, there she goes. All right, good job. Let's see if we can get another one. So why do we let those ones go? Well, it's just that one was, it's not gonna cut great, like okay, but it's 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 out there spawning right now, so we'll just yeah let it let it do its thing and and um, yeah we'll find another one that's a little bit better. Oh my God, that's a fish! Keep really keep really running, quick, quick, get over the top of him and reel. There we go. <laughs> Got him. Oh, Poppy showed up to the party here. Oh, Poppy. Oh, Poppy. Hey, this is probably your last winter steelhead you're gonna catch till next year. Calm on down, okay? <laughs> it's also my first winter steelhead I'm gonna catch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, this might be a good one, huh? In the water. No hand fishing. No hands. No hands, bro. No hands. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you want, I'm ready. Oh. That one bounced off the net, too. <laughs> Uh, oh, John, hey, we show you everything here, even <laughs> even the terrible land job. So what are your guys' thoughts on the Addicted Crew? Uh, there's a lot of people out there that love us or hate us, but what, what was your overall take from this group? You know, what do you think of all the guys and, and the cohesion between them and, and the camaraderie and the friendship between everybody? Well, number one, you guys are passionate as hell about what you do. I can say that you are, I don't know if there's a better word to say than savage in terms of you don't care whether it's raining, snowing, hailing, you guys are sending it no matter what. And you guys just work really well as a team, which I really respect. So shout out to you guys. Right on. You, you guys are just super passionate and knowledgeable about what you do. If there's any hate, Leave it at the front door because right. there's no hate. Well, we appreciate that. Well, you can't forget little. No, little, we can't little forget brings a lot background. of personality. <laughs> little brings a lot of personality. He brings the heat. Yeah. He's the mascot. The day winds to an end. You can always tell what boat Marlon was fishing today by the wrappers from all the snacks. God, he's like a little gremlin of food. He's the gremlin of gremlin in there. We just can't feed him after dark. Okay. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, got the snow cleaned out the boats. The field is ready to play. We're gonna get going here, but I think uh, we should start with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance at least. Yeah, this everybody face the West, face hand the over West. your heart. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America, America. and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, addicts, let's get this day going. Woo! First fish of the day. First fish. Honestly, if we can land this, it'll be the first fish of both days. The only ones I hooked yesterday, I lost. Oh, it is a nice one. Nice buck. He said no. Put that rod I saw the water Mr. Pop off. Yes. Oh God, I can't get him. There. there we go. <laughs> there we go. Landing. Merlin, finally. Oh. I was heartbroken yesterday. I lost that big fish just from the main line breaking, which does not happen ever. Got the skunk off my own my own rod. Oh my handle fell off. Oh my god. Oh. I was air reeling. Is this a joke? It's the end of the season, man. It's the end of the season. Heads are falling off. 
off. I think that was for surely a seagull. Uh, no, oh. I let him get in there first. Oh, I didn't really swipe him. One, dude. SOB. I, I missed that one, everyone. <laughs> I, I almost, it was equipment failure. <laughs> almost punched myself in the face, <laughs> fat lip, and then Cameron got the fish anyways. <laughs> Dang. It's a different fish. I can tell by the way it bit. Yeah, tell by the way it is. This is a really, really pretty fish. Dude. Look at that. Snow belly. Oh, it's a wild, it's a wild, it's wild. I just had one. Oh my Darn god, it. I was turned around looking at the net and I looked back, my bobber was under. <laughs> hey guys, nice little fresh one, got a little sea lights on there. Got him, got him, got him, oh, I'm bent up. Big time bendo, big time bendo. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Way to go, little. You bark, you bark the fish off. You see that? Yeah, he didn't bark on my fish. Did you not know that? You couldn't yeah. hear your drag. Oh, <laughs> little, are you like dogging me, dude? Yeah. He didn't bark on my Son fish. Son of a gun. Hey. Like... Man, that was a good fish. Yeah, I really gave it to him. Dude, that rod was maxed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Got one. Oh, my God. Oh, he's still there. He's, he's still, still there. there. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the fish just gave you that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was the coolest little twirly bird ever. Here, we can double net it. Double net it. All right, everybody, we got two wilds for the broodstock take now. Just twins. Look at that, guys. Two. Perfect candidates for the broodstock program. There we go. There you go. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. He's there. Oh, stick your stick your tip in the water. What do we got? What do we got, bro? Look at that, she's tricking it right up there. She's tricking him. Tricking him right there. There doesn't even know it's hooked. Lift. It's all right, we'll do it again. Okay, push him that way. Now lift. Yeah, all right. So this is a downriver fish, so we're gonna just take care of this one quickly. Yep. Oh, yeah, baby! He pooped it out. Oh, it's huge! It's huge! Dude, it's really big. It's really big. Victor, that's a big fish, bro. That'll help the hole. This one you're gonna steal the head head right into this cradle net here. Oh, yeah. We got him. Did you see that move? Did you see that? It was all in the hips. It was all in the hip. It's all in the hip. It's all in the hip. It's a hatchery fish. It's a hatchery fish. Get control of him, man. Gomer pile reel. The Gomer reel. Gomer reel. Oh, yeah. Right in the net. All right, nice. Well, that'll be a great. Yeah, there you go, little. Table. Take your time. Take your time. There it is. <laughs> this is my fish. Look at this fish I just okay. caught. Nice <laughs> one. Look how <laughs> solid. It fought so damn hard. Oh, it did, man. You see, it was all down there, like. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hold your fish? No, Gordon? it's all right. No, you no, can't. I want you to. Your... My hands are cold. No, exactly. Little, <laughs> <laughs> give a kiss. Hey, dude. You got a runaway bobber up here. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it's a nice <laughs> 
Oh, oh Jesus. That's a blue one. That That's a blue one. Purple. Purple blue. Oh, it's going to jump again. It's going to jump. Oh, it almost did. Dying juice. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and it broke <laughs> off. Oh, no. Two points. <laughs> Little wild. Little wild boxer. Boxer. She's Little going wild. for a boat ride. Little hen. Little wild. Romer. Dude, that one too. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, super. Oh, we Romer. almost had the double. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Can we double hoop net one if yeah, it's a wild? Triple. Let's triple. <laughs> Can I scoop two in one cradle net? Damn, no. try it because it's a Oh wild. god, it really? Matter. No. Dude, this would be really bad and this uh, we want this fish. Yeah. This fish needs to go to the tank. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. You guys are insane. We're gonna double cradle it. Get him, get him, get him! Get him! Get him. Oh, double cradled! I don't know what to do. There's too many fish going on here. This one's falling out. This is the one we want for the tank. She's ripe, so ripe and ready. Dude. How many should we put in this tank? As oh, many right as you right can. Right Dave! What? You're Dave, you got a reel. You're Dave, you got a reel. You're you're you got a reel. I was you testing the microphone that same spot. Out? You want me to get the microphone out, bro? Oh, please give me that microphone. Man, nothing brings me more happiness than putting those fish in here, considering that we're actually fishing on open rivers right now when the state of Washington still, still, hasn't figured it out. North Coast guides, North Coast anglers on the state of Washington, if you're not paying attention to this, this is the blueprint for your productive fisheries and your fishing future. Okay, so we got the trap open and now we're gonna use the cradle net Nick's gonna grab these fish out of the tank and we're gonna run them up, get them in the tank, and then we'll record them and we'll be, uh... oh, here he comes right now. Here he comes. Yeah. He's gonna run up. Run, Forrest, go, Forrest. Run, Forrest, run! This is a timed trial. Okay. Let him acclimate a little bit. All right, girls, there you go. Nice. All right, two more, two more. So being from Florida, we don't really have any fish species, to my knowledge, where there's like a hatchery program where an angler can go and bring a fish to, you know, fish and game and you reintroduce, reintroduce it into the wild, which I think is really unique and cool that an angler gets to basically partake in the future generation of fishermen. You know, you're, you're basically making sure that your kids and your grandkids are going to have fish to fish for. Um, I think it's a really unique thing and I'm happy we got to be a part of it. Yeah, it's a special moment for I think any angler that gets to steelhead fish and especially if you're not from here, be able to, to come and, and experience what it has to offer yet also add back to it. But I'm super, super happy you guys got to do that. And thank God that we have guys like Nick and Dave that put that much effort in and make sure that those fish are there so that they can keep having those fish years and years to come. Five ladies right there and it's snowing. <laughs> And it's snowing. Alaska trick, huh, Jordan? Yep. Yeah. The old bush trick. The bush you know, trick. You stay alive in the bush. Next, we'll build a shelter. Maybe it'll be a snow igloo. Ooh, a snow igloo? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Many of you probably don't know me, but my name is Sam. I work for Big Dave and Nick Popov, and today they gave me a little mission. I'm stealing Jordan's raft, taking it completely away. He's going to think it's gone. It's going to be great. He's going to get back and freak out. But what we're doing is I'm taking it to Les Schwab and getting brand new tires put on there because they're getting pretty bald. So it's time to get some new ones on there. But he's gonna think something happened and it's gone. So it's gonna be great. You guys are gonna get the reaction later and whew, it's gonna be funny. 
So let's go get some new tires put on. I kind of want to just take Jordan's raft and go. What do you guys think? Should I just go fish in Jordan's raft? I probably won't make it on these tires though. Ah. All right, there she is. Getting the makeover. Here we go. Sorry, Jordan. You're gonna freak out for a few hours, but it'll be worth it. There's fish, 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 fish. On the swing right off. Apple time. Huh? Yeah, Someone get one right there. Frida's cam in the middle, not in the middle. <laughs> Here, make something in my mouth. Veggie tray, <laughs> this one's gonna be tough. Ooh, man, that was gonna have a curve. No, we're getting far away, oh, no. oh, oh, we got it, we got it, we're forward. Guess I'll just take care of this myself. They got a fish, we got snacks. I got a fish, I got a fish, fish on. Oh, it's, 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 it's making a wake. It's making a wake. It's making a wake. It's Jaws! Look at the wake. It's Jaws! Whoa. It's got a wake. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a real one, boys. Just yeah. shot bit. I'm getting bit. I'm getting bit. Oh. Oh, oh we're double. Double! No! Oh, you screwed up the double again. Damn it! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we throw me a, throw me a ball. Well, maybe this is, this is a weird one. Oh, okay. oh, little, little, little. Ooh. Big old sea lice. Oh, I got one. I got me a fish. Fish on. on. Ow! Don't hurt those poor fish. Leave them alone. Is it a whale? No, I'm gonna have to. That looks so cool. Isn't it crazy? Wild, already spawned. Good job, dude. Thanks for making us some babies. Ooh, I'm I so can see I now. I can see clearly now the snow is gone. Uh -huh. Not sunny. I'm gonna get sunburned. You got any suntan lotion? Yeah, yeah actually, you got any I do. Suntan lotion? <laughs> I do. This is, yeah, dude. Got on, on the swing. Good call, Dave. On the swing. Good call, buddy. That Got is on the swing. so that was like, cool. Oh, I think he popped off. No. No, he's still there. No. He's still there. He's, he's just there. running at me. Coming at you. No, no, no. I felt it like in my thumb. I had it with just my thumb. I was all thunk, thunk. I'm like, oh, hello. It's, it's so neat just to be all tight lined on yeah, that thing. Yeah, tight line. Creep. Tight lines, good times. Good. Got one, got one on the swing. Got double on the swing, guys. Double on the swing. He just came. Always. What the hell is wrong with this? One. Jordan, did you mess up the double again? Jordan. Dang it. Bad Jordan. There she is. Nice fish. Nice, nice little guy. People let that one go, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to tag out. Nice. All right, guys. Well, we'll get her unhooked and we'll get back in there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, he folded it all the way across the tail out. Dang it. This is a wild. This is a wild. This is a wild. This is a wild. Oh, that was I'm coming crazy. in behind you. Is it fun now? Is it a buck? Come check this fish out, Nick. Might be a buck. There we go. This is another downriver hand wild that has already spawned. And you can see that, like kind of how they start to deteriorate on their fins and stuff. Um, and down in here, they start to deteriorate. And she's gonna go back out to the ocean. She'll get perfectly chrome bright again and, and get some more eggs in her. Come on back. And So 
So to cap it all off, what are your guys' overall thoughts on fishing in the Pacific Northwest and the steelhead and salmon fishing in a, in a nutshell? Bring your hand warmers and your toe warmers, <laughs> I learned that. Um, I, know, I know it sounds silly, but just having the proper gear makes your time so much more enjoyable. But yeah, I would 100% do it again. Maybe pick a little bit better weather window, but I feel like since we endured this weather, that next trip is just going to be that much more special. But it, it's a really unique fishery. I like the dynamic aspect of it, how you're not just sitting in one hole, you're moving, you're getting in and out of the raft, you get to really interact with the fish, and the scenery is just incredible. And what about you, Brooke? What did you think of, of the Northwest and steelhead fishing in a nutshell? It was beautiful, the fishery is amazing. I had a ton of fun. I agree with Victor, I would definitely want to come back when it was a little warmer, but you know, the crazy weather definitely added to the great experience and I would love to come back. And I must say, I'm so happy that you guys got to be here and experience the Northwest in a whole and experience our, our, our group and our family and the camaraderie and the joking and the, the pranking of all things. And needless to say, this time, they got me good. All right, you guys, we got the new tires on. They're looking good, looking fresh, and she's ready to go. I just gotta strap her up, get her strapped up, and we'll take her back. They're about done fishing, I think, and they're gonna let Jordan suffer for a few minutes, not too long, but then I'm gonna drive by. He's gonna see it drive by the house, and then I'm gonna come back and surprise him. So, here we go. Hey, hold on. He's on the phone with the cops. Hold on. Right now. He's on the phone with the cops. It's a, uh, what is it, Jordan? It's a red air stick for 13 foot raft. Right 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 is there a license plate on the trailer? Nope. No license plate on the trailer. Okay. Is there uh, any registration on the raft at all? Uh, there, I have like the VIN number at home, I, but I don't, I don't have it on me now. It just says it's a blue air emblem on each, on the, the bow and stern, and has an aluminum frame with two. Set up like a drip boat. There's two seats up front and one rower seat. Okay. Are you are you working right now? I am. Okay. Well, I'll send this out and see uh, what I can check up on and, and see if it's anybody seen anything and uh, I can give you a call back here just a few. Okay, thanks. What the f***, Tom? His raft got stolen, bro. Literally gone. Just called the cops. Leslie said about an hour after we left, a, a black truck pulled out with a raft. And she thought it was us or what? She thought it was us. She thought we were. Where was your raft? Wasn't it right? It was right wedged there. in between, between the, the two trucks, bro. Between them. Were there three vehicles here, and they saw it. Oh, I mean, oh I... look at that! Oh, shit. yeah, they've got something through there because that wasn't looking like that on my truck. Yeah, it's all scratched up. Like that's popped out, and that got hit right in there. Oh my god, mm. dude. He already called like the cop. A, a sheriff's office. He's got him on. He just, he's, the deputy Johnson is, he's, he said he's going to call him back in a few minutes. He's going to call around and figure out. Why are we recording this? Hey, should we record it? Yeah. Here, I got my chesty on. What happened? Uh, apparently, the rig that hooked onto it got a blowout on the front end of their truck and went over an embankment. It's, I mean, it's, everything's just kind of in a pile. They just towed what they could back to Burton's and Tillamook. That's Burton's? the junkyard. Okay. Oh, wow. My God. I don't know yeah, if we should be recording this, Sean. Call in about 9:45. Said they they witnessed a, a crash and the rig went over an embankment. Raft was behind it. Everything's pretty much in a pile. I mean, it's. Oh, it's not looking good. Okay. Is the raft okay? So can we charge these guys? You gotta fill a police report out and all that. Yeah, my, my homeowners probably cover it, right? Well, let's go to Burton. Uh, I guess I, I'll call my insurance company. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll 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 just see you then. Then. I gotta I gotta call my insurance company. Okay. All right. Give your insurance company a call. Yep. All right, buddy. Thank you. What the? Dang. Well, that's karma, everybody. Is the raft okay? No, the raft's no, in pieces. He says, he says there's nothing left. He says a pile. They well, crap. Big they Red crashed. had a, a good two-year run, everyone. Back to Old Blue. What the hell? All right, here we go. Time to surprise Jordan. He is going to lose it. Here comes his baby.
there he is. Oh, snap. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got him! We got him! I didn't look that <laughs> sad, though. I'm not gonna have a new trailer. Yeah! We got him! That's exciting. Hey, come look now, buddy. Oh, hey. Look at, oh, look at the brand new thing! So, Alex, even though we pranked Jordan, he desperately needed some new trailer tires, so Addicted bought him some new tires. Sam! Sam! Sam. Yep, we got him. Sam, 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 Sam came through. Sam, Sam came through. For those of you who don't know, no, this is Sam. He works for Dave and I. Yeah. We hired him to hijack you Jordan's the, trailer like, today. Listen, you already know. Clench, You'll see the footage. I can see him clenching his fist like. Oh. He was gonna just, oh. <laughs> 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 you were buying it. You were buying it. Now here's really the problem. That's that's really really that's really really the question we all had to ask. Had my, had my it took you a half an hour to realize your round is gone. He literally. Oh my God! He doesn't even know. I was on the phone with Les Schwab. He was. I walked out. I'm like, where's my rap? I'm texting Sean. He comes up and he's like, should I just take my trailer to Les Schwab? And I, <laughs> did you almost? <laughs> I'm just like, hey, uh, uh, you like how yeah, I, I yeah, you like, should. Hey, you no, no. Schwab, in the why back? do you need to look at the tire size hey. on your trailer? Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, I'm all in there cooking it's food over. and stuff. Yeah, I'm like, hey, hey, right. we walked by there 20 <laughs> times. Oh, you're sweating. We're like, <laughs> what, what is going, going on? on? Guess who yeah. Destiny was? Who's that? That was John Merton. I changed his name in the phone to to Deputy Johnson. Look at that. <laughs> it's Deputy Johnson, let's call him. Let me let's call him. him. There it is. <laughs> there's Merton. Oh, yeah, there's there's Deputy, Deputy Johnson. There's Deputy Johnson. <laughs> hey, look at the new tires on the round. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that was incredible. Uh, that's <laughs> awesome. Man, Shark comes in, he's like, this isn't a joke. I'm like, no, dude, this is freaking dead. This is real. They so we can't get this. They still think it is. <laughs> 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 the last two days, they're probably like...